so here's the situation uh, getting some stuff done in project four to eight taking a little test drive um, but that's not why you're here um, got some big news and uh, as most of you know project four to eight is about to go to its new owner uh, we're gonna draw that and get the logistics figured out and one of my favorite cars I, I have to say guys uh, is going to a new owner and that left me with um, you know my premium subscribers I, I, this is something that I want to continue I'm committed to continuing and uh, kind of behind the scenes I've been looking for what are we gonna do next and found it so a lot of people don't truly know what project 4 to 8 was is was is about and uh, essentially I offer a premium subscription where I give away thousand plus dollars worth of months worth of gift cards and swag and, uh, parts all this other stuff and uh, you know I also release all of my content early to those subscribers and some of these guys have been with me for a very long time and at the beginning um, you know my goal was we hit a certain number and we draw somebody to come and you know get their car built at the shop well it continually took longer than anybody expected so I said you know what I, I, I want to give something to these guys that have been uh, you know have been supporting my brain and supporting my work for all this time um, you know me and Dover kind of got together got the plan going and here it is project four to eight and this was a massive undertaking uh, a lot more time and a lot more money than either of us had you know initially anticipated but it's here but that's what project four days project four day was not just some some competition there was a very very important purpose behind this car um, from the get-go here's the deal guys real quick um, building Foxcast media was and is um, my dream that's that's what I wanted to do I've wanted to do it since probably around 2000 and you know for a number of reasons I never I never did do it I never followed through with it and um, you know kids and life and houses and everything else got in the way and uh, finally did it and one of one of my dreams was to give away a car I didn't think that was possible um, especially for someone like me and now you know here we are doing it and not only are we doing it but we're doing it a second time and I'm fixing to introduce you to the second time so we get a lot of questions about you know the shop and, and the stuff that we do out here and uh, you know like a lot of this stuff is just you know guys that we know locally uh, that need some work done and then you know we've also got um, you know guys not so locally that you know we know one way or another that you know they make uh, it's it's one of those where you know we, we had to kind of look at it and say you know that's gonna make great content and it's something where we can show you how to stuff and build something epic that you guys will enjoy so that's what these cars are and then of course you know in the other shop over there we've got Dover's truck and the trailer we've got Dover's car then we've got like pops car and um, which is off being painted my red car um, and all those you know it's 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 a little bit of everything we try to keep as much variety as possible but project four to eight was for premium subscribers and um, this next car is also for premium subscribers now I don't know exactly what this car is going to turn into I'm gonna talk with the sponsors see if we can do something cool with it we're not going crazy with it because four to eight about killed us um but we are going to do something cool with it i'm not exactly sure what yet and um i'm also going to help you guys out we're going to do some dyno testing of basic 50 fox body parts um will they work you know does this work does that work we're going to do some very cool content so it's going to go on the dyno we're going to take it to the drag strip see how it runs um, just a lot of cool stuff with a essentially stock car and um, you know I think you guys are going to enjoy that and then you know a lot of little resto again I don't know all the details yet because it just we just got it and but anyway without further ado guys let's go meet the new project and of course you know I had to pick the worst possible day uh, but 
guys I was back and forth you know this is I'd spend a decent amount of money on this car maybe we'll talk about that too because you know Fox body prices are are going up but uh, I wanted something that we that was already running driving that we could kind of build on um, and found a survivor car and I guess uh, I guess let's go ahead and show it off <laughs> Yep, there it is, guys. Literally have done nothing to it. Literally have done nothing to it. Now, here's the deal. You want to know the details on this car, you're going to have to stay tuned for an upcoming video. All I'm doing is introduce, again, just got it. Just freaking got it. Um, I don't even have a name. Drop me a comment below. What do you think the name for this project should be? Um, the details are 91. Mustang GT, sorry for the wind. Obviously a two-tone. Uh, still riding on the original ponies. There is some stuff. There's a few things. Um, and I'm going to come over here out of the wind. I've already looked it over, but uh, we're going to get it in the shop. And uh, there it is. <laughs> Guys, you know I'm a sucker for a two-tone and... You know, when I talk about a survivor car, these are the survivor cars now. They're not like they were 10 years ago. They're not like they were 15 years ago, 20 years ago. You know, these guys, you know, guys, this car is a 91. This car is 30 years old. That's scary. That is really scary. Um, but overall, like I said, it's still on the, on the original ponies. Um, I mean, guys, I, I just said the bad word. Ah, it's still got the freaking cheese graters in it. Again, we're not getting in it. I'm not showing you anything else with this car. You're going to have to come back for the next video. We're going to get it in the shop. We're going to go over it with a fine tooth comb. Uh, we're going to talk possibilities. Uh, I'm not really sure who is calling me. I don't know who that is. Um, uh, we're going to talk possibilities. I'm not giving you any, any more information. Um, but when I tell you it's going to be, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. And, uh, like I said, this one's not going to be the extensive one, you know, like four to eight, you know, and we're not going to take a year and a half to do this, but we are going to do some really great content with it. I want to take it down to the horsepower factory, get baseline dyno numbers. Um, we'll take it to the track, see what kind of numbers it does um and then obviously you know we're gonna start the process and see i'm not even getting close i know you guys are like what's it what's done to it what's under the hood you know what's the deal no 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 i'm not giving you that information you're gonna have to come back but again guys for my premium subscribers you guys know who you are the ogs the guys that have been there um if if you're on the uh the subscription page link is always in the description uh, this car is for you. It's going to get restoration, performance upgrades. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, you know, it's going to need it's going to need some here and there on the paint. Um, which again, we'll talk about that later. All right, guys. So again, I I hope you're as excited as I am. Um, you know, I've al I've already invested uh, a sizable amount of money into it, and we're going to do a lot of parts, a lot of work. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. And huge shout out to Dover. Dover got on a great deal and was planning to just flip the car. And I said, please, please sell it to me. Let me, um, I want to give this car away. And so he gave up what would have been a, he would have done well, uh, reselling the car and, uh, he sold it to me. Um, so huge shout out to Dover and, um, I think he may not say it, but he loves doing the giveaway stuff as much as I do. I mean, he's an extremely generous guy and, uh, you know, he put a lot of hard work and money and, and time into uh, four to eight as well. You know, huge team effort out here and, uh, it's only getting better. It's only getting better guys. I, I'm, I'm very excited to see what we're going to do with this. And if, if, if you're maybe not a Fox guy or you're just getting into Foxes, you're like, what the crap, man, it's just a. It's just old 91 GT. Well, not quite. 
And if you know, you know. And if you don't, you know, watch the videos. You'll, you'll figure it out. But this is a survivor. And, you know, we've we've had a lot of cars out here. I mean, you look at stuff like that. We, we've had a lot of cars out here. And rough does not begin to describe it. This car is all here. It's all here. And uh, that's how to buy them these days. Especially when, you know, something like this car, you know, what 10 years ago was, you know, 7,500 is now like 15,000. You know, the with the values going up like this, cars like that are not only getting hard to find, but they're getting extremely expensive. And, uh, yeah. Wait till we get done with this thing. Like I said, guys, I don't know how, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I'm not making any promises. Uh, we, we just got it and we're giving it to you. All right, guys, I had to go inside seriously because it, uh, the other day we were out here in shorts and a t-shirt and it was like almost 80 degrees. And today it's like 39 and freaking raining and the wind blowing and uh, oh, it's bad. But guys, real quick, shop update. Uh, this car is getting dangerously close. Dangerously close. Essentially, the only thing left is uh, a lot of the wiring. And now, obviously, all the knickknack stuff, but as far as getting it to a point where it's ready to start, we're close. And uh, super excited for that. We're going to hear a turbo whistle before you know it. And... Uh, Pallet coming soon for the Bimini car. Uh, continued work on the Leadfoot Gray car. Uh, still waiting on lots of parts for the Reef Blue car. <sighs> it never ends. I will also, guys, we're going to fire up the 347 powered 87 F-150. Um, it is nearing completion, so that's gonna be uh, freaking awesome. Stick shift, 347 stroker, 87 four wheel drive F-150. How cool is that? So. Um, Track's about to open, events popping off. Speaking of which, Ford, uh, Ford, uh, Ford Takeo for coming up uh, May 7th and 8th. You do not want to miss that, guys. Uh, LMR has stepped up in a big way. Silver Sport Transmissions has stepped up in a big way. Uh, we're, getting, we're getting more sponsors showing up to, uh, to be in the midway. So uh, let's see. Yeah, Ford Takeover is going to be insane. And we've also... Uh, got to install the 331 stroker in Chris's GT. So that is about to pop off too. Um, guys, I'm telling you, we work our ass off out here to deliver not only quality content uh, where you can learn some stuff, um, you know, stuff that is entertaining. And, you know, not only that, but a good variety. You know, we try to, you know, we do the, we do the truck stuff. We do the, uh, the push rod stuff, the coyote stuff, the events. God, I hope uh, for 2021 we can get back to these events. I'm super excited to get back out and um, go to like Mustang Week, Foxtoberfest, Holly Ford Fest, stuff like that. It's going to be freaking epic. And, uh, you know, say final sayonara to COVID, for God's sake. But if you enjoyed this video and you cannot wait for what's coming, please <laughs> big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. And never ends, boys. I'm telling you, keep it tuned right here.